Here we go, round three. Yes, then. Uh, <laughs> what up? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back. Why do I, al I always clap? Like, I feel like it's my thing. Like, I'm always, hey guys, clap. Mm, okay. 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 Is that right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. So, I've been wearing this look recently over on my Instagram and over on my daily vlogging channel and when I've been going to events and stuff. And you guys have been driving me crazy to basically show you guys what I've been wearing and all the products on my face. So, today that is basically what I'm going to be showing you guys. So, I hope you all enjoy. Just want to put a disclaimer out there though in no way, shape, or form am I a makeup artist. This is just how I've been creating this look and you guys have really been complimenting me on this look So yay, thank you for that and yes yeah, so today. I'm going to show you how I actually created this look I actually use the Anastasia modern renaissance palette throughout this look as people know over on my daily vlogging channel This is a new palette of mine that I actually own I have been getting so many comments doing a tutorial on it So this look will also be showing you guys a tutorial with this palette as well So I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please smash a big thumbs up I know this sounds kind of crazy but let's see if we can get to 50,000 likes and if we do then I would do I don't know then it will be a sign to me that I need to start doing some more makeup related videos so if you want to see that on my channel please smash a big thumbs up and also if you guys enjoy and quickly last thing before we get into this video make sure you guys subscribe down below and also turn on my post notifications I feel like I'm going crazy so let's get into the video so as you guys can tell, this is my bare face. Now I'm gonna start off by applying my MAC Prep and Prime Spray. This is honestly amazing because it just makes my skin feel like fresh and healthy and I always apply this before foundation. Now for foundation, I'm actually using the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Foundation. This is amazing because it's so full coverage so it's great on a night out and also I love how yellow toned this foundation is. Yellow tones go really, really well with my skin and I really prefer them so hence why I love this shade and I love this foundation and I use the shade 4 so I've kind of just like dabbed this around with my finger on my face and I'm just going with the beauty blender and just blending it around my face and by the way guys as you can tell I know the color looks kind of weird right now kind of look like Shrek but don't you guys worry once it's all blended in it looks absolutely fine and totally normal now next up I'm using the collection last and perfection concealer this is amazing because it's so affordable and really does the job it's really great at highlighting my skin so I sort of buy applying this underneath my eyes in like a triangle shape and then I do my chin just above my cupid's bow my nose and then my inner of my forehead and this is all the areas of my face which I kind of want to highlight and you know look a bit more like glowy and stand out So I kind of just like wait for this to soak into my skin and then I actually go back in with the beauty blender and again just blending this around my face all blended I then go in with my NYX contour kit now there's various different shades on this contour kit and I must admit I love every single one but I've kind of mixed two different shades today so these are the two shades that I've mixed for this look and I'm just blending this just under my cheekbones to make my cheekbones look more defined and I kind of do like circular motions as well because I find when you do circular motions when contouring it's a lot easier to blend into the skin so that's kind of why I do like circular motions next up I'm gonna contour on my forehead so I'm just applying a even darker shade on my forehead and just blending in that round again don't you worry again it will look fine once it's blended it's all about the blending so yeah just blending in my forehead and then finally you guys know the drill I'm gonna be contouring my jawline to make my jawline look sharp so again just applying the bronzer on there Once that's all blended, I then go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder. This is absolutely fab and really makes my makeup last longer. So I kind of just put this everywhere that I highlighted my skin. So again, underneath my eyes, but then yeah, I like got some in my eye and it nearly killed me, but don't worry guys, I am alive. Yeah, I'm basically just applying this everywhere that I put my concealer. So again, underneath my eyes, my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, and then my inner of my forehead again. And I will let this set for about five to 10 minutes, kind of just let it bake on my skin 
and then I'm just getting a big fluffy brush and just blending it in. Obviously because this is translucent powder it turns into absolutely nothing and you can't see it. Next up to give more of a peachy look. I am applying my Too Faced blusher, this is in Candy Glow, and then finally you guys know the drill, the last step on my skin is highlight, this is my favourite drugstore highlight of all time, in fact, favourite highlight of all time, and this is the Mary Lou highlighter by The Balm, it's such a nice glow as you guys can tell, and again, just applying this everywhere that I put my concealer, so the top of my cheekbones, my chin, my cupid's bow, nose, and the inner of my forehead, again! For brows, I use this brow powder that I actually got from, well, the place that I get my eyebrows done. So if I can find it, I'll link it down below, but I'm not even sure if she sells it online. But this is just like a basic brow powder that I use to fill in my brows. And I mean, it's really fairly easy how I do my brows. I kind of just like do the outside of my brows like the shape that I want and then fill it in like after. So I don't know if you guys want to see like an actual brow tutorial. If that's something you would want to see then let me know down below. As I know here I'm not really showing you that well what I'm actually doing to fill in my brows but it's pretty simple. Now moving on to eyes which is the best part. I'm going to start with base by using my Urban Decay primer and now let's get on with the shadows. So for shadows, I'm starting off by applying two different shades, kind of like mixing them together with a big fluffy brush. This is one from Morphe. I'm going to link all my brushes down below as well. So I'm going to start off by applying Golden Ochre and Burnt Orange, just mixing the shadows together. But remember to like not apply too much because the shadows are so pigmented. The next shadows which I'm again blending into my crease is a mix of Real Girl and Red Ochre. I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I'm just blending those together and again just blending it through my crease. With this shade though I'm starting in the outer corner and then kind of like blending it into the crease. So the most pigment part is clearly on the outer of my eye and then just yeah kind of like blending it through. Next then I'm going to go in with the shade Venetian Red which is like a really lovely like cranberry shimmery kind of colour and again I'm just placing it on the outer of my eye and kind of just blending it through the crease but again leaving as much pigment as I can on the outer of my eye so I've kind of just like dabbed it on the outside and then just blending it out. But the next step I actually used two different shades again, Vermeer and Primavera. Again these are such like shimmery glittery colours so these look really really pretty on the lid of my eye. So that's actually the final look for my eye. I now actually go with my winged eyeliner and I use the Kat Von D eyeliner. Honestly this eyeliner will do you miracles. Like it is insane, it is so easy to use and honestly I think one of the best makeup products I've ever invested in. So I mean it's not even that expensive either. Like, it's honestly amazing. So if you guys really struggle with eyeliner, get this and it will, it will do you miracles. Finally, the last shade of the palette I used was Love Letter. And I've just applied this with a little pencil brush underneath my eye. And this basically just filled the look. I made the look so much more dramatic and really stand out and bold. So yeah, this totally makes all the difference in the world and gives something special to the look. For mascara, I'm using one of my favourites, which is the Maybelline Cat Eye Mascara, and just applying this to my top eyelashes and my lower eyelashes. And then, of course, to make this look look more completed, I'm applying these false eyelashes. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, and honestly, I've been getting so many compliments about these lashes. They are honestly incredible, and even though they are very thin, thick eyelashes they are so wispy as well so they still look like kind of well not natural because they are very like you know they're yeah they're quite heavy eyelashes but they're so comfy to wear and they are very wispy as well which I think makes a great pair of false eyelashes Finally, to complete this look, I'm going to be applying lip liner and lipstick. So, for lip liner, I can't even remember what shade this was, but it's one by Kylie's Collection, so I'm going to link it down below for you guys. This is such like a dark, hot pink colour, and not only did I outline my lips with this, but I also applied it on the inner corner of my lips, just to give it that more darker, full effect. 
And then on top, I'm actually applying the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dulce. So yeah, this is such a pretty like pinky coral color and goes really, really nicely with this liner, I think. So yeah, that's basically it to complete this look. Now here is my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As I said, I'm not a professional, but this is how I've been doing this makeup look recently. But yeah, this is my look. I hope you all enjoyed and let me know your thoughts down below. enjoyed this look that I actually created today. Honestly, I love it so, so much and it's such full coverage, which is absolutely great because honestly, my skin at the moment is having a breakout. I've never seen my skin be like this before. It's dry, I've got loads of spots and yeah, my skin's just having a breakout so I've needed something that's a bit more full coverage and a bit more intense so this look is absolutely perfect and honestly I think it's such an easy look to recreate as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As said at the beginning of this video, please smash a like if you guys did and also if there are any other makeup videos that you would like to see on my channel then also please let me know down below, that would mean so much to me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. All products are also linked down below, just want to disclaimer that as well but yeah I'm actually gonna end the video here gonna love and leave you now guys I love you all so so much and I will see you guys hopefully very very soon Mwah. bye